going to do a little workout that is going to combine some standing work and some Pilates floor work, and I hope you guys love it. Here we go. This is Isabel and Hannah, my helpers. Yay, girls. All right, we're going to start in a wide stance. So a little bit of a turnout, tall body, pull your abs in, and start with some wide squats. Really, we're doing standing work to get you warmed up. We want your body to get warm, we want your blood flowing before we get down on the floor. So when you're in your turnout, sink into your heels, pull your belly muscles in and up, relax your neck and shoulders, and try to let your tail feathers stick out behind you a little bit so you're not tucking your pelvis under necessarily. Now hold it low. Ten little bounces here. They're really not bouncing, it's pulsing. Try to feel your quads. Try to think about your abs being in nice and tight. All right, that was probably more than ten, so come up. We're going to turn to our right, your left, and do sort of a version of the warrior pose. It's really more of a warm-up, though. So pull the abs in. Keep your feet in line with your two hip sockets, and do a little knee bend. As you bend that back knee, it's as if you're taking it to the floor, but you're not. And you tuck your tail feathers under a little bit here so that you can feel the stretch in your hip flexor. So breathe out. Four to go. Four and three. I like to exhale on the way up, but as long as you're not holding your breath, don't stress out about that. Hold it low here. Pull those abs in nice and tight. Lift your left arm. You guys would be your right arm up and dive over so you're side bending away from that back leg and then come right up get tall and come back to center and switch sides all good girls that was hard so zip up in the belly make sure your feet are in the line of your hip socket sink that back knee down and up keep your neck and shoulders as relaxed as possible Drop the knee toward the mat. You tuck your pubic bone under just a little bit so that you get that quad stretch and up into your hip flexor. Three to go. I'm actually totally making up numbers because I never count and all of you know that. So now we're gonna hold that low spot. Tuck your belly in a little harder. Lift the same arm as the leg that's in the back. Side bend gently away from it and hold, breathe, excellent, come up and come around. Good, are you warmer? Hopefully yes. So a great stretch to do is with wide, wide stance. Sink down into a deep squat and bring those hands in front of you and just rock back and forth a few times. Trying to find your tail feathers close to the mat without sitting down all the way and just trying to balance. So it's basically a frog stretch or a deep squat. Pull those abs in. See if you can hold it just a little bit longer. Suck in really tight and we're going up. So use your arms to help you. Come up, 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 up. And then relax, turn sideways because we're going to do that same little squat to get down to the mat. Ready girls? Come to the front of a little bit. Widen your feet just a bit. Sit into your tail nice and low and see if you can rest in your heels and for extra stretch you can use your elbows against your inner thighs and just push open a little bit y'all look so cute all right belly in as you find the mat with your tail and roll back so that's the fun part and it's actually one of my favorite things to do for pilates is to do a little rolling rolling like a ball we're not going all the way to the official roll like a ball we're just going to put hands behind your knees sink your navel way down curl up so that you can look through your inner thighs and then use your abdominals to rock so we're not trying to sit up all the way but we're also not trying to use our neck and shoulders we're trying to use those belly muscles really deep in your deep core girls feel it <laughs> so if you have the kind of back that doesn't round very well, this might be hard for you. So just practice really sucking in and curling up, but not coming up all the way. Now see if you can find balance. And hold the balance. This is 
basically like the boat pose from yoga. You can challenge yourself to go a little higher if you like. Pull those abs in, roll down. Good, so we're gonna do that again. Hold behind your knees, roll till you find balance, hold it. Good, so you can easily just stay here, stay in this little boat pose, or challenge yourself by letting go, or challenge yourself more by making the legs very straight and holding that line. Now belly in as you go bone by bone back down. Tuck those knees in and let's do a little knee circle. So we're circling the knees in opposite directions and allowing your back to relax. Let your shoulders kind of sink down into the mat. Now reverse it. Let your knees circle the other way. Feel your spine just rolling up and down. Try to feel that you're sinking into your mat and relaxing your neck and shoulders. Put the left foot down, lift the right leg and elongate. Pull the navel down away from the foot that's going up. We're gonna use that leg to climb up. So tuck your chin, it's like you're imagining you're reaching your forehead to your knee and you're climbing up a bit. Pause there, hold it, and walk back down. While you're down, really sink that cheek Feel the stretch in your hamstrings, and then cross it over. These are our warm-up stretches. With the crossover, we're tucking in. Some people call this the figure four stretch, or the pretzel, whatever you call it. You wanna square this shin with your shoulders, reach underneath, and hold. So the more tight you are in your hips and glutes, the more you'll feel this. Take a nice breath. You can even bring it over to the side a bit to get a little deeper in that hip and cheek. Which side? Towards your left. Yeah. Pull towards you more. Good. Now you can let go of that leg. Gently put it down. Take the left leg up super long. Drop the booty down. Suck in your abs and climb that tree. Try to reach as far up as you can without bending your knee. Do the other side with a pointed flex, but you certainly could to get your ankles to stretch. And then walk back down the tree and cross that ankle over the knee. So now we have left ankle over right knee and the hands slide through and thread and hold on either on top or behind the knee, whatever feels better to you. If you're very tight in that hip and glute, you should feel it already, but if you need more, just pull it a little closer and angle to your right a little bit. Hopefully you can feel that. Yeah, girls? Yeah. Okay. And back to center. Let the feet down one at a time. Do a big full body stretch from fingers to toes. We're gonna start right out with a half of a roll up. So in Pilates, you mostly wanna pay close attention to the connection of the abdomen and the glutes and also not getting too much in your neck. So use your arms just above you, pull the belly flat, follow your fingertips with your forehead and see how far you can roll up. If it's not very far, that's okay, just pause. And then roll back down. Inhale, reach over your head, let the hands float up over your eyes, Follow your fingertips with your forehead and see if you can come a little more. If you need to bend your knees here, you can, but if you're able to keep your legs straight, roll yourself up all the way. And then bow over, draw the belly in, and here we go, rolling back bone by bone. So try to feel that connection of inner thighs zipping up into your belly, squeeze a little in the buttocks, roll down, and then fill your lungs as you reach over. Exhale, use your exhale to power you upward and bring all the way over. Good, Hannah. Sometimes you have to bend your knees to give yourself a little bonus power. And then bone by bone, try to slowly control it. Squeeze your thighs together, zip up in the inner thighs. And one last time, full body stretch. Inhale. Use your exhale to help power you up. If you need to, you can even just use one leg to give yourself a little extra pull. And then bow over. 
And here we go, rolling down bone by bone. Squeeze those thighs together. Careful in the neck and shoulders, just looking down at your inner thighs. And then bring the knees up to your chest. So a great way to find what is neutral. When Amy says neutral spine, what does that mean? What I mean is put your fingertips right over your kneecaps and then just hang your knees and your fingers. Our bodies are kind of amazing. If you let your arms go long and you hang there, you'll feel that your tail is just anchored down. But there may be natural curve under your spine and that's, that's okay, that's your natural curve and that's called neutral. If we tuck the knees in all the way, then your butt rolls up and that's not neutral anymore. It feels good and it's a great stretch. That's called flexing your spine. When we go past neutral, which we won't do very often in this position, it becomes an arch. And you can see that now I'm extending, I'm actually hyperextending my spine a little bit. So I'm gonna bring it back down to a more neutral position. Try to think about that with your abs protecting you. And here we go to our next exercise. Hold behind your knees, scoop yourself up until you're able to look right through those inner thighs. Rock maybe three times to find that power, your lowest belly. And here we go with the single leg stretch. So your outside hand reaches to the ankle. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Try to keep looking past your inner thighs. If your neck gets tired, just put your head down. I've had a lot of years of neck issues, so it took me a long time to strengthen my neck to be able to be curled up again. Now bring both knees in, relax here, let your head relax. Turn your head from side to side a few times. Take your hands and make a little triangle with your fingers and your thumb. Place it under your lowest spine, right at your sacrum, and elongate your legs. If you need to have bent knees here, you can, but I want you to really focus on the lowest part of your belly and tip one leg down. We're keeping the knees bent for this one and then the other. So it's like you're reaching your toes to the mat and back up. Try to feel that power in your lowest belly and wrap those muscles tight. It's your girdle of strength that you're holding tight in the middle. Now for extra challenge if you want, get long legs and reach both legs down and up. Breathe out and breathe in. Try a few more. Keep your focus on the abdomen and the waist. Relax your neck and shoulders. Good. Now bring the legs in. Relax. Wobble those knees side to side. Let your neck relax. We're going to move into one more ab exercise here. Take a nice deep breath. Curl yourself up and hold that line. Now, if you can, support the head by just placing your fingertips at the base of your neck. We're going to go slow motion crisscrossing. So the elbow, opposite elbow, comes across. You're not trying to meet your elbow to your knee. You're trying to turn your torso slightly and pull that belly in super flat. So it's shoulder coming across, not just elbow. And keep it slow and controlled. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Good, one more each, and bring it back in. Now, relax your back by placing one foot down and then the other. Elongate from fingertips to toes, do a full body stretch. Bring your hands over your belly and find that power. We're gonna take one knee up directly from your hip. Single leg circles can be a little weird. If you're not very flexible, so that your thigh bone can't be perpendicular to your body, if you have to be out here, then bend your knee a little bit. We want this thigh bone perpendicular to your body. So with that said, draw the belly super flat and circle around and then stop. Imagine a clock on the ceiling that you're going around the clock, stopping each time at the 12 o'clock. So we're actually going across your midline first here. Breathe out, breathe in. Now pause and reverse it. Breathe out, breathe in when you stop. Exhale, inhale. 
exhale, inhale. Try to relax your head and neck. Powerfully reach that thigh. Straight up, two more. Exhale and stop. Exhale and good. Tuck it in. Take a moment to breathe and let that knee come across your body. Turn your head opposite your knee and just stretch in the middle. Feel how good it feels to rest for a second. And then come back to center. Slide that leg away. Let's bring the left leg in. So if you're feeling really tight in that hip flexor, you can do a few circles with that bent knee. Just try to let it loosen up, but always support it with that outer hand. Even when you go way out to the side, keep a little support to help the stretch not get too wild. Now we go long leg, belly down, leg up, and across the midline and stop. With each stop, that's part of your work, okay? Because you're stabilizing your core muscles super tight. So they're stabilizing you, but your outer and inner thighs, your quadriceps and your hamstrings are your mobilizers and they're making you move. Now reverse your circle, control, and stop. If you want an extra challenge, put your hands up just to see, oh, I'm rocking too much. I've got to calm this down and keep it more still. Stabilize. Two to go. Good, now tuck that knee in. Take a pause. Bring that knee across your body. Turn your head opposite. Fill your lungs with some deep breaths. And then come back across the middle and do a nice full body stretch. So we're gonna do that roll up one more time. If you need bent knees for it, of course do so. Arms float above you, belly sink, sink, sinking as you peel up bone by bone. So you can bow over your legs. And then when you sit up, sit all the way up bone by bone and walk your sits bones back a little bit. So I want you to rock back and forth just rocking and letting your legs go the width of your mat, maybe slightly wider. It's very hard if you have tight hamstrings to sit this tall. So you can bend your knees to the upright, do what works for you. But we're doing a little twist here and we're gonna do what's called the saw. So you can take a tall deep breath, twist to your left, pinky finger goes toward pinky toe, dive over and pause there too. Belly in, dive over. Saw, two, three, super tall. Twist, dive over. Saw, two, three, tall spine. Rotate, dive over. Two, three, sit all the way up. Rotate one more time. Exhale, two, three, tall spine. And dive over. And up. So like I said, the bent knees can help if you're not too flexible. Now, just wobble again. We're going to bring the legs in. Now we're going to do the really rolling like a ball, which is much like we did at the beginning, but the goal is to sit all the way back up. So girls, watch me first. Try to tuck in and just hug your knees and see if you can balance. Pull the belly in. Roll back and catch your line. When you sit, you balance. So exhale, inhale. You keep your head tucked very close to your knees. That way when you get to the mat, you don't bonk your head. Try three more. Exhale, come up and pause. You can really cross over if you like. The tighter your ball, the harder it is to balance. One more. Good job. And then relax. All right, we're gonna sit all the way up. I'm gonna roll over onto your bellies. Ready, roll over. And just wiggle back and forth a few times to make sure that your hips are even and down on the mat. And then we're gonna do a couple of exercises where we do back extension. We did a lot of flexion, so now we need to extend. Let your forehead rest. And then imagine that we're rolling a marble away with your nose. You lift your head, you push the marble away, and you pull your belly in as you come up to your elbows. Pause here. Support yourself with elbows close to your body. Navel up, up, up. The right foot first is gonna do a kick, kick, release. Then 
the left leg. Kick, kick, release. Keep sucking in your belly. Good. And I'm doing a flex foot, point foot, release. It does not matter at all. I just like that because I can put my foot down more easily. But pull your belly up away from the mat. And keep those shoulders out of your ears. Try to keep your neck elongated but not crunching. One more. Flex, point, release. Flex, point, now come down all the way. Relax here, let your head turn to one side and just wobble your hips. Take a nice deep breath. On the next exercise, when we do the double leg kick, each time we come down, we'll turn the head the opposite way so that you get the neck stretch on either side. So in slow motion, we'll take the hands. If you can go behind your back and hold two or three fingers, Hold on to them, but your head is neutral. So the movement is three double kicks. One, two, three, and then lift up and pause. The belly sucks in away from the floor here. Now you come down, kick, two, three, elongate. Suck in, suck in, suck in. Turn your head the other way. Kick, 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 lift and hold. Again, kick, 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 lift and hold. Last time, head the other way, kick, 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 lift and hold, hold, hold. And then release down. Now let your body relax, wobble side to side. Find your arms in a little T formation. Or at C, that's not what it's called. What do you call this? When it's football. Oh, goal pose, the goal pose. <laughs> so pull your abs in, lift yourself up with arms like goal posts. The elbows come back and the booty squeezes super tight. Then you open and you come back down. So the legs are the width of your mat here. When you lift, you squeeze everything in the back side of your body. Feel the booty, feel the hamstrings. Feel your back, but not pinching in your lower back. Now you squeeze the elbows and the booty tight. You open and come back down. Turn your head the other way. Take a breath. Lift up. Squeeze elbows toward each other, legs toward each other, and then out and back down. Turn your head. One more to each side. If you're pinching in the lower back, go less. You don't have to come that high. You just pull the navel up. Here we go. Hold it. Squeeze back, come out, drop down, turn your head, take a breath, belly in as you come up, squeeze your booty, elbows and buttocks tight, open and back down. And now rock side to side and we go back into child's pose to let your back relax. So sit all the way back. Anytime your back gets tight and really zinging on you, just this nice child's pose will help you. But if you feel a lot of pinching when you do back extension, then we need to tweak it a little and make it smaller. It means that you're probably not getting a lot of back extension and you're not using the abs to support you. So we can talk about that. Definitely send me a message. All right, we're gonna go from child's pose to the good old bird dog. Everybody loves and hates the bird dog, but you place your hands under your armpits, your knees under your hip sockets, head is neutral. The right arm is gonna walk out to the front of your mat, fingertips out, left leg reaches back. And then as you come up and find balance, your goal is to squeeze the cheek of the up leg and be very square in your upper body. Now tap down and switch. Belly in, left arm out, right leg out, and hold. Imagine reaching your fingertips to one wall and your toes to the other, and hold and pause. Good job, girls. Now down. Switch again, belly button in, reach, and hold. Try to feel the power that goes diagonally from your left armpit over to your right front hip. All those ab muscles hold you steady. And then drop down and switch. Left arm, right leg. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Watch the head and neck, keep them as neutral as possible. Okay, come down, 
Now we're just gonna add a little bonus feature here. Right arm, left leg, hold your line. Now tuck the elbow and knee toward each other. Exhale. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, crunch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Now long, long, long before you give up. And then switch. You can bend your elbows a little if you need to. Here we go on the left arm, right leg, lift. Hold your line, tuck and exhale. So elbow and knee are trying to meet each other in the middle. And naturally your back will flex here. So allow it, curl your belly in, round your back. And then reach again, tuck under, round your back. Elongate, inhale. Tuck it tight, tight, tight. Inhale, one more. Tuck it in, two, three. Elongate. And then release and come down to child's pose. Good job, girls. How do you feel? Feeling a lot, a little? Now, if you're a person whose knees don't like child's pose, that's okay. There's a few alternating ideas you can do. And one of those is to rest your hands elbows down and place the back of your head into your hand. It's almost like you're going to try to do a somersault, but you just rest your head into your hand. So that's another option if child's pose hurts your knees or bothers you. All right, come on back up to hands and knees. Just going to do a few cat stretches because it's so nice for your spine. So round your back, curl up, super straight arms. And then reverse, your head and tail lift up. The blades pull back behind you. Now scoop your belly up. It's like a big rope is pulling you up to the ceiling. Then release and go through middle, elongate, head and tail in opposite directions. This is back extension. This is back flexion. Good. And now to one more extension. Lift the head and tail. And then find your neutral in between lifted and round. Good. Take a breath. And here's what we're going to do. A little more booty work. Take the right leg back. Hold a nice square posture between your two arms and one hip. Hold that line. And just tap the toe to the floor and then squeeze your booty. It's like with each lift, you're trying to reach your heel away from you even more. And you're squeezing that butt cheek of the lifting leg. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And four, and three, if you want extra challenge, take away the left hand, two, and one. Good, now switch. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Long left leg, square hips. Tap the toe, squeeze and lift. Touch the big toe just barely to the floor. Now notice I'm not doing this big wild crazy donkey kick. I'm controlling the lift. Tap, squeeze and lift. Hold the belly nice and tight so you don't sag down. The back is square and neutral. One more. Great job. Good girl, sit back and rest, feel good. Long arms, chest down. All right, walk out until you're on your right side. Let's face our cameraman, Jackson Stanley. Long body, from shoulder to hip to heel. Rest your head in your hand or on your arm is fine. Take the legs and just slightly bring them forward. So if you feel weird in your hip, you can rock back and forth a few times, but our goal here is to squeeze the thighs so tight that they lift up off the floor. Flex, point, release. Lift, flex, point, release. Suck in nice and tight with your abs. Feel the booty squeeze helping you squeeze the thighs together so tightly that the legs float up. And then most importantly, it's your abs and your waist that are holding you steady. Now, top leg only, lift it, flex the foot, 
bend the bottom knee a little bit. Here we go, swing to the front two, swing back, squeeze two. Flex the foot, exhale forward, point the foot, squeeze the butt cheek two. Exhale, front two. Inhale, back two. So exhale, inhale. Three to go. Good, one more. Breathe out. Nice job, and then relax that leg on top. Let your head rest down. Bring the knees in front just a little more. Top arm lifts to the sky and open your chest. Take a nice big breath. By the way, notice that we're separated by about six feet. We're trying to do our social distancing. And we came to the studio after it was closed downstairs. Bring this arm back over in front of you. The top arm reaches to the front corner of the room as the top leg reaches to the back corner of the room. So your full body stretch is from pinky finger to pinky toe, and you're lengthening the front of your body to stretch in your hip and psoas. Great job, relax. We gotta switch sides, don't forget. So we go up and over. So get yourself set up in a long straight line. Always make your straight line first. So it's ear, hip, heels. And then use your belly to just hinge forward a little bit at the front of your hips. So the power when you do sideline work is not about your legs as much as it's about your waist. Try your best to pull that waist up away from the mat. Then your legs will come up a little easier because you're using your torso. Flex, point, release. Using this front arm is fine, but try not to lean into it super heavy. In fact, for a super harder challenge, you can hold your arms though. Lift, flex, point, release. Pull the abs in and tight. With each lift, you're tightening more and more from under your armpit through your waistline. Good, do three more. Squeeze, flex. Point, release, pull, in, flex, point. Good, try one more. Now take your top leg, the height of your hip. Bend the bottom knee just slightly. Use your belly to swing that leg forward for two little kicks, back for two. Notice I'm not rocking back and forth with my upper body. My body is very quiet. You're moving from your hip. Abdominals contract to help forward kick. Booty contracts to help the kick behind. Exhale front, inhale back. Powerfully hold your belly in. Make it help you. Don't forget and sleep into the floor. Two to go, flex two, point two, flex two. Great job, now relax. Bend the knees in front. Make a 90 degree angle here and rest your head. Top arm up, turn and open your chest. And just relax, feel the air in and out of your lungs. Soft neck and shoulders. And then as you come back around, this top arm reaches to the front of the room top leg reaches back. So from pinky finger to pinky toe, you're elongating and reaching. Relax your neck, but do a full stretch. And then relax and let your knee rest on top. So take a nice good breath here. We're gonna finish with a little bit of side work and then a last stretch. So from here, just come on up on your side. Sorry. So we're gonna just wiggle to the middle of your mat here, girls, and set in two. I think instead of doing mermaids this time, because I did that the other day, we're gonna try a little side lift. So put both feet away from you. The top leg is slightly in front, because it's gonna help you lift yourself up into a side plank. And you dive over. So inhale, look at your fingertips, and then dive. Inhale, and dive. 
If you'd rather be on your elbow here, you can. And then gently sit your hips down and relax. Let's try that again on the elbow, just for a different experience. The feet help you lift and hold your line. An exercise here that's a challenge would be to sit and lift. Sit and lift. One more. So that's a nice little variation. Now sit down all the way. Bring yourself up and side bend away to feel the length of that side you were just working. Your obliques and your waist have a lot to do with the safety of your spine. So strengthening that girdle all the way around is what we're trying to do. Switch legs. So let your legs be a little away from you. Top leg slightly in front. Plant your hand or your elbow under your armpit. And here we go into the lift. So find your, your lift first. And then with a zippy inner thigh, you dive over and come back to neutral. Sometimes we do this as a twist where you dive under. We'll try that next time. Gently down, bend your knees. Let's do the variation on the elbow. Just to give you a little bonus feature. Squeeze and lift, pull your belly button in. Try that little dip, touch down and lift. Watch out for neck and shoulders here. The elbow's right under your armpit. Last one. Squeeze, 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 and gently sit. And then relax and side bend. So take a nice full breath here. And then relax. Come down. We're going to turn so that the feet are toward the end of your mat again. And this will be our little finishing stretch. So take your fingers and wrap under your legs and kind of hug yourself. And as you're in this big hug, scoop your belly and lean back. It's like you're trying to recline. So you hold your knees, but then you lean back. Right, so don't fall backward, but just let your arms hold you there. See what I mean? So lean back as if you're trying to lay down and your arms won't let you. Good, now in that movement, just pause and then lift yourself up. So you pull your chest up, wobble a few times, put your feet flat, and lift your chest, and feel the blades of your shoulders pulling back, pulling back, and open and expand your chest. Take a nice big breath here. And then turn facing the front, you can sit Indian style. This will be my favorite stretch to finish with. So rock a few times. Pay attention to what leg is in front. Mine is my left in front. It does not matter at all. It's just that we're going to change after this. So zip up tall. Turn to your right, your left shoulder, sorry. And use your hand against that knee to help you twist and rotate. So you're super tall and you're drawing that belly in and you're looking gently over your shoulder, not forcing it, but stretching the neck. Now with the back hand, lift your back hand up to the ceiling and still pulling on your knee. You're diving over, but looking under that armpit. So hold on to the knee and pull yourself over. Looking under your armpit and side bending as you rotate. You should feel this a lot. And then lift your body up top. Now keep a hold of your knee with your left hand, the girls with your right. The back hand moves up to the sky, diving over as you're still pulling and looking under your armpit. So we've rotated and also twisting. And now come all the way up tall and relax, wobble side to side. Don't let go of your leg position here, but just walk the front leg slightly in front and walk your hands out and over. Just stretch deeply into that hip. Take two more breaths here. And then sit up all the way, bone by bone. And the finishing touch is to switch legs. 
Don't tuck in too tight because you want to stretch this hip on the other leg. So wobble a few times to make sure you're even on both sits bones. Walk your hands gently forward. Let your head drop. If you want to, you can rest your head on your hands. Relax your neck and shoulders. Pull them down away from your ears. And then stack your bones all the way up. And take a nice big deep breath. Take those arms and wrap them around your body. Give yourself a big hug. Pat yourself on the back. You guys did great. Thank you, girls. You feel good? Yeah. Yay. Bye.